Hoang Sang Hao. <laughs> okay, so here we are again. As the thumbnail suggests, uh, I'm going to make a bit of a movie about the medical system, or well, part of it, uh, because my wife is expecting to give birth any day now. So she's already in the hospital where I'm heading to now. And uh, I'll just show you, well, part of how the China medical system works. Now, um, China's a great place to live for most aspects in life, but like everywhere, it's not perfect. And in my opinion, the biggest uh, downfalls or letdowns to living in China or Chinese societies is the education system and the medical system. Uh, that's mainly just due to uh, overpopulation. Uh, so we'll have a look and you can make your own mind up. But I will say this is, uh, I come from Australia, so the, the, the hospitals are standard is very high. But in China, the hospitals are a little bit funny. But uh, once you get in there, actually the, the doctors are quite good generally. Of course, like anywhere in the world, sometimes you get a good doctor. Sometimes you don't get a good doctor. But let's have a look and you can make your own mind up. Even though this has nothing to do with the medical side of things, uh, I was just uh, nearly at the hospital now. Actually, I'm lucky the hospital's only down the road from where I live, but I just thought I'd show you this. This temple is one of the oldest dwellings, the Brown Pagoda in my city. Okay, we'll venture on. Okay, I've arrived at my destination. Now, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Uh, in China, you have like your general hospitals, like large hospitals where they can treat you for basically anything. And you can deliver babies in the hospitals, you know, just a normal hospital. But also most people, they don't go to the hospital and you don't uh, like have doctor clinics here. They have little health clinics. So usually you'll go to the health clinic first, say if you had a cold or the flu and they'll diagnose you, give you some medicine or something. But if they can't treat you, they'll send you to the hospital. Now, when you go to a hospital, you'll have two choices. One, uh, you can stay in that hospital, or if you have something that's quite severe, they might refer you to a specialized hospital. So this hospital here, which also extends over to there, and over there a little bit, this is purely a maternity hospital and a hospital for very, very young children. And that's all they specialize in. And China has, has a lot of hospitals like that. Like the city I'm in, oh, I don't know, God knows there must be at least 50 or more hospitals. So basically if you had cancer or something, you would go to the cancer hospital or if you had a, a eye problem, go to the eye hospital or something like that. So I need to go in here because this is where my wife is, what I love for. This is another very strange thing is it's uh, around 10.30 uh, at night and with the hospitals, you can see there's no one here. Uh, it's not like, well, it's not like the hospitals back home in Australia where they have strict visiting hours. Uh, you can come and go uh, as you please. Uh, but to get into the ward, like the, the ward I'm in, they give you, the family member, like a uh, an entrance sort of tag. You know, like you get when you're in hospital, they give you like a, a hospital tag. And that gives you access into the, the main ward you need to go to. So I thought that's very strange. This is a standard two bedroom, a two bed room. Uh, as you can see, a couple of beds. Give you a television. That's my wife there. Give you some cupboards. Wife, are you having a good stay in the hospital? Yes, luckily. Oh, very good. And uh, have a toilet, shower, vanity, basin. Now in um, Chinese hospitals, the, the procedure is you must have a family member accompany you in the hospital. And what they do is you see here, we have this little uh, chair, which folds out to a bed. So you can see there, so like a little, a little stretcher bed there. And generally what will happen, so this is a two bedroom, a two bed 
room is they'll put that stretcher bed here for this for this person and for this bed here they'll put it another stretcher bed here and the, the people depend actually it depends on what what you're in hospital for but generally you'll have to some have someone accompany accompany you for 24 hours especially if you have something severely wrong with you and another thing in china is uh you see the, the quality of the room is a bit substandard as you'll notice here i have some some food right like my lunch and in china you must supply your own meals like the hospital don't supply them for you so uh, there are a few options one is your family members cook and bring your food to you two i have like an an app like this where this is the hospital canteen and you could scan that uh, order some food of course you need to pay and they'll bring that to your room if you don't want to use those two options you can use an app like uh, Erlamar, which is just like a, a restaurant fast food app, which is very common here in China. You can just order food and they'll bring it to the hospital. And I'm led to believe that downstairs they have like a holding bay with like little security boxes. They put the food in there. You just pin in the code they give you and you take it out. I'll see if I can find that a bit later. And if you don't have a, a family member or someone to accompany you, you can also like pay someone, hire someone to take care of the cooking and to accompany you as well. Okay, so here's the little holding box I said. You wanna get some food or groceries ordered? Let's have a look here. I'll put it in, come on. Uh, Open. Aha. Okay, so here we got some pasta and salad. And I have one more package from the supermarket to pick up. Now, another thing you can notice, I'm on the hospital bed. <laughs> Generally, this wouldn't happen. Because <laughs> you'd have to share the room, a two-bedroom two bedroom of another person. But because her sister is in the medical field, they have some guan shi, which is very important in China. Guan shi just means you have some contacts. And they gave her a room to herself where she doesn't need to share. But when she did check in maybe uh, a couple of days ago, she was initially in a four-bedroom room. But that can be very annoying, as I told you before, because you have the other family members. So you imagine four people in the room plus four family members, never ending chatter, uh, sleep habits will be upset because some people snore, etc., etc. And I know this firsthand as years ago, I, I spent two weeks in hospital. I was quite sick. And that was an experience in itself, I must tell you. Okay, my wife's in the delivery ward. Now, the strange thing is, uh, well, for this hospital anyway, the husbands can't go in there. You can see them here. There's a few of them waiting around. First, they said I could go in there. Then they said I couldn't. And another thing, you see everyone's got like a bag, right? Is here. You need to supply every little single thing. So when the baby's coming, you, they, the hospital don't give you anything. You need to supply off all the wipes and the the nappies and even your little quilt when the baby's delivered. Like, uh, they definitely don't give you a single thing here. It's a list of all the doctors. So, at the best, I could say it's controlled chaos. Well, they had a change of heart. I was allowed her into the birthing room. So all the action happened. It was a bit of an experience, I must say. Uh, so, I think what the process is is stage one and two the, the father can't be a part of but then for the final birth then you're allowed to come in had a little girl over there so yeah they the doctors and nurses done quite a good job once the uh, it was time for the baby to come out 
Okay, so found out what was happening in the delivery room is here they have when there's a little baby in here when they deliver the baby they have like multiple birth rooms where you can have like two to four people i think uh give birth at the same time but they do have the option where you pay like chinese money like 1500 rmb and you can get your own private room and like you have your own uh you need another assistant so you need to pay for her and when you do that then uh, you can have someone accompany you and that can be male or female and uh, probably the total cost of having a baby is about 20,000 RMB which would equate to maybe around three and a half thousand US dollars and uh, half of that is pre-hospital and that's just like having all your tests ultrasounds and things like that but the government give you a subsidy of that maybe uh, give you a 30 percent rebate and the other ten thousand is for everything required in the hospital and because we're in the room by ourselves, as mentioned before we need to pay the whole fee for the room which is like uh nearly a hundred dollars a day normally you would share that price with with a second person but we prefer the privacy. Okay, and these are all the staff they have. Uh, there's usually about, uh, in general, you see here, little doctor, young doctor. Um, from what I've noticed, this is like the nursing station. <clears throat> During the day, what you see is maybe 10 walking around. Um, well, just in my section, it might go down there more, I'm not sure. So this is just a small insight into uh, the Chinese medical scene. Now, uh, the general hospital hospitals, of course, are far more chaotic because they're giant and there's people running around everywhere. But this is just to give you like a, a bit of an idea. <clears throat> and the main takeaway of this is, when you travel somewhere, don't expect it to be similar to where you come from. Like I use Australia as an example, and things, things uh, seem a lot different but they're no less adequate and no less, are no more better, you know. So you need to take everything with a grain of salt or a pinch of salt, so we say. And yeah, I thought they've done a great job. Our baby's nice and healthy. Uh, the doctors are very professional and you couldn't ask for more. So until the next video, uh, take care.